Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. Uh, what an exciting day. We are here at Ride Now Power Sports Georgetown in Georgetown, Texas. Hit up my boy Aaron, Ethan, and Robert, if you are coming through here because they are awesome, they're hooking it up today. And as always, this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like Ride Now Georgetown to provide the most transparent buying experience for ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and motorcycles. Or is this a motorcycle? Well, that's gonna be up to you, but I really do think it is. Today we are on the insane 2019 Yamaha Nikon GT. And I've got one thing to say here. This is the exact bike that Motonocity just took out. So Motonocity, if you're watching this, can we just be best friends? Pretty please, with the cherry on top. <laughs> All right, guys, so you already know. Let's jump into some specs real quick. So the Nikon, as a plain and simple non-GT version, comes in at $15,999. We have an 847cc liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder straight out of the MT-09 with a little bit of tweaks, fuel-injected, six-speed, chain-driven. In terms of the chassis, you have 43-millimeter LMW dual tube forks that are fully adjustable in the front and a single-shock adjustable preload in the rear. Uh, you've got hydraulic disc brakes, so you've got a seat height of 32.3 inches, so it is a little bit tall. You have a 4.8 gallon gas tank, an EPA um, estimated 42.3 miles per gallon, and a wet weight of 580 pounds. The LMW is the leaning multi-wheel chassis, and that's kind of what this Nikon is known for, right? That's the craziness in the front. Uh, you have some advanced rider aids, so everything's the YCCT, very similar to the MT-10. This is ride-by-wire, so you have adjustable throttle mapping, traction control ABS. I'm super excited. We've got the inline three cylinder from the MT-09 that's been tuned a little bit differently. Uh, we've got a lot of great power in this motorcycle. We have an incredible suspension setup. I mean, as you can see, it's a three wheeler. It is a proper three wheeler, but it's not a trike because these wheels will allow you to lean independently, which is very incredible. Um, so Let's just jump right into it. I mean, this is a first ride and review. I ain't gonna sit here and talk about it all day. Start it up. We've got an LCD digital display here. No TFT, but we do have a quick shifter. This baby weighs 580 pounds. So I'm gonna be extraordinarily careful. It's got so much power. Oh man, so this is, <laughs> what, what? Okay, um, straight off the bat, I am swoon. Let's go see what the quick shifter do. Oh my God, guys. I'm sorry, is this not like the coolest motorcycle I've ever ridden? Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is really interesting. Um, wow, 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 wow. Okay, we're gonna just go straight, kind of explore for a little bit, see what we can find, and more importantly, just ride this motorcycle and see how it feels. You know, you've got that MT-09 that's producing a pretty damn good amount of power. Um, it's nothing like the MT-10's power, but at the same time, you know, you got 580 pounds of weight here, so you, you're not gonna, you're not looking for straight line speed quite as much as you would be on like a proper super sport bike or maybe a proper two-wheeled motorcycle. Uh, that being said, you're gonna really recognize a lot of the controls here. The switches are directly from Yamaha's other motorcycles. We do have cruise control, which is really cool. This, I mean, what in God's name? I would love to take this onto the track. Or, like, what? Frontage Road, next left. Dude, this has got to be one of the coolest motorcycles I have literally ever ridden. Look at us, we're out here in the middle of like the country in Texas, and this is just unbelievable. The stability is like second to none. 
Oh my God, I've, I've like never felt anything quite like this before. I don't know what else to say. The suspension is so, it's, it's like, it's beautifully plush in that it soaks up all the bumps. But then when you do turn in, it has this really incredible nature to it of, of kind of like a sporty firmness. And I think it's just that you're putting the weight on two separate suspension units. And each one of these wheels has two forks on it. The quick shifter is super smooth, really impressive. This is this is a well-engineered motorcycle. I mean, I have never in my life ridden anything like this. And you know, it's very interesting. I have to say this. This technology, although Yamaha is kind of claiming it to be this revolutionary thing, and of course that what they're saying is that it's never been applied in this manner, like this sporty of a manner. But Piaggio has done this before. And it's kind of like when you copy someone's homework, but you change it a little bit, except this was changed quite a lot. It's so strange to turn. Like, I have to get used to it. Oh my God, it's amazing. You know, something that's very interesting, and maybe I'll answer this question for other people who are wondering, this bike does not stand up on its own. Um, I don't know if that's just like common sense to everybody else, but when you first see something like this with three wheels, you think, okay, maybe it has the ability to stand up on its own. No, it still needs a kickstand to be on its side. I mean, it's not a, a supported motorcycle. The If it leans to one side, the suspension will collapse and it would fall over. So, you know, it's, it's very much a real motorcycle. It just happens to have two wheels. Wow, it's really pretty out here. The other thing is just like, if you want to get stairs, ride this motorcycle around. It is totally the bell of the ball. I mean, people will stop in their tracks and just look at it. It's got to be like, if not the most comfortable, one of the most comfortable motorcycles I've ever ridden. If you're looking for like a big, cushy sport touring machine, and you're thinking about, you know, K1600s, um, you're thinking about those FJR from Yamaha, uh, you're thinking about the big concourse or something like that. I don't know. I think you should start thinking about this motorcycle because it's super comfortable to ride. It has so much power. Wow, the torque is really beautiful. It's incredibly manageable. Um, I'm in uh, one, two, three mode. Oh, so very cool. They've done the same thing here. So just like with the new MT-10, uh, they've moved away from their A standard and B mode and they have one, two, and three mode. I'm in two mode, which is gonna be equivalent to standard. And that's kind of where I wanna stay. I don't really wanna go into rain mode and I don't particularly wanna take this into the sporty mode, not on roads I've never been on. Um, as you can see, you have a fuel gauge, um, digital speedometer, digital tachometer, gear indicator, QS, quick shifter. So the quick shifter is on. You have traction control, which can be adjusted here. You've got cruise control settings here. So if I wanted to, I would just hit the cruise control button is now in, down to set. Because I'm in fourth gear or up, I can chill with it. And if I let go, um, which of course, keep your hands on the wheels, but you could, like you could, the cruise control, and then of course, up to set it a little bit faster click off to turn the whole system off or of course clutch brake anything like that would disengage it i mean it, this is a spectacle of of creative engineering at its finest and it's really what i love about motorcycles right this is pushing boundaries that don't necessarily need to exist and i think that's the most beautiful thing about the power sports industry is that you can have motorcycles like this come out that have seemingly just no purpose. You know, this isn't necessarily solving a problem. It's not, it's not filling the gap in some sort of a, uh, uh, a niche or something like that. It's, it's creating its own industry. It's so incredibly powerful. But uh, I mean, on this, you just can't have a bad experience. Yeah, look at this thing, guys. I mean, this is just otherworldly. So we've got the three to one exhaust that comes out on the right side here. You've got no exhaust port on the uh, left. You do have this beautiful um, center stand, which is really gonna be cool. I mean, this is a GT, so it's like a Grand Tourer. That's why it's got the bags. I assume the center stand is also part of that package. Um, you do have here a port for heated grips, which is great. Or not heated grips, excuse me, heated gear, which is fantastic. 
uh, up here you'll see on the display you also have another power outlet and that you could plug in something like a, a USB converter so you can charge your phone and whatnot on the go I turn this on you'll see it's a pretty beautiful display I wish it was a TFT but uh, again I mean these aren't quite as expensive as you would think they are I just don't I mean of course I'll show you guys some b-roll on maybe the nicer camera but this is just I mean I'm swoon here I'm very smitten I have to sneeze oh no do not sneeze in your helmet cam mm -mm. it's really quite amazing let's just get back on man I just want to ride it this is this is a bike that I've been waiting to ride for a long long time I just got to thank Georgetown ride now Georgetown power sports Aaron you are the effing man really appreciate you man these are not hard to or they're not hard they're <laughs> incredibly hard to find starts right up let's put her in uh, neutral real quick adjust my glove just like look at the power delivery it's absolutely absurd it's so smooth it's lightning quick at 850 cc triple the other thing is look how crystal clear the LCD display is. I mean, yes, it's not a TFT, but at the very least, the information is displayed incredibly clearly to me. All right, guys, so we are heading back to Ride Now, Georgetown Power Sports in Georgetown, Texas. Uh, I cannot thank the guys there enough. They've really hooked it up today. If you are looking for a Yamaha, Nike, and GT anywhere in this area, please hit them up. If you are not from this area, please go to that first link in the description down below for GoRollick.com and see if you can't find a great deal for one of these uh, near you. As always, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, like it, comment down below. I read and try and answer every single comment, I swear. So if you do comment, I will answer it. Uh, and as always, I will see you on the next one.